Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial from STEM the future. Today we'll be learning how to set up WebStorm and the debugging environment. This video does assume that you have very basic knowledge of HTML and JavaScript. So let's get started. In this tutorial we will be using uh, Google Chrome's extension for JetBrain. So I'll, I, you know, I'm assuming that you do have Google Chrome on your system. If you do not, then please go ahead and install Google Chrome on your system first. And once you have that installed, the next thing will be to download WebStorm, um, the current running software that I have that you guys can see on your screens. Uh, in order to do that, you can just type WebStorm on your on Google search and pretty much the first link there is to WebStorm and once you click download here the download starts uh, once you have that downloaded and installed uh, then you can open it up and first thing you need to do then is to create a new project click on new project and this time it will you know we can keep it as an empty project and uh, let's name it uh, uh, let's create another folder uh, name it stem the future all right and I'll save it there uh, it's asking if you want to open another window or open it in this one. I'll just open it on this window because I don't need the current running software or the project. So this is how your project looks like, so the new project. In order to add any files into it, you just right click on the folder here and here you can just add uh, any sort of files from HTML to JavaScript, you know, CSS. So uh, let's create an HTML file and uh, let's just name it uh, index.html. That's like somewhat typical name. All right. WebStorm, you know, generates all of this like very basic HTML data for you so you don't have to type all this in here so let's let me type something in okay before I actually type anything let's set up the debugging environment uh, in order to do that you will need to go in your Chrome and download this JetBrains extension uh, Simply just click here, go into your settings, extensions, and go all the way to the bottom. Get more extension and type in Jet Brain. And this is the extension that I currently have installed. Um, I mean, I have it installed, so it doesn't ask me to install it. But if I didn't, it will just say add to Chrome, and you simply add it, and it installs the extension, and it kind of pops up here. So once you have this installed, then let's go back to your WebStorm and type something. Or actually let's just finish setting it up so go and edit configuration add another you know just click on add and then click on JavaScript debug here uh, name the you know name it I'll just name it index.html because this is the file that the system will be using to kind of jump into debugging and it needs a local host you know URL for this uh, in order to get that you just you know you can just navigate to that file you know by clicking on this button here and it pops up this window and just click on your HTML file 
and click OK. I mean, you could click on other files, you know, if you had like JavaScript file that you want to debug or anything. But I think um, I just typically do index.html and put breakpoints in my JavaScript files, and that works pretty fine and pretty neatly. So press OK and apply it and OK. Now you can see that you can simply click on here and it will run the current page in the Chrome in a new Chrome window. Here we go. This is our page. It's currently blank because we do not have anything there. So let me open this Chrome window on the left side and the Webstone project on the right. So we can see see the changes being edited live so let me add something to the page so here I've edited the change made the changes and let's click on debug now Whew. we have the page uh, one thing to note is that whatever you type now here is actually being edited live oh yeah so as you see on the left it is being edited so now let's create a javascript uh, file so we can add a breakpoint and test that so to do that simply just click here click on JavaScript file uh, my function not the best name but for now I'll do it let me just type something here then the uh, alright for now I think this is good let me just add a for loop Okay, so let's put a breakpoint here, and the breakpoint in WebStorm works just as it does in any other uh, debugging environment. It kind of shows you the, you know, while you're debugging, it stops there and shows you all the variable values, and uh, you can kind of you know see them, and so you, you know what's going on. So uh, let let's just add that quickly here as well. So you know. Uh, the index.html page has access to the myfunction.js file. Okay. Oh, uh, name it myfunction.js. All right. Okay. Now let's just make a script. I'll just call the function stem the future. All right. Oops, the debugger is running. Okay. Now, whenever we we can simply you know, click on the debug and it will debug it. And here we go. It stops at the breakpoint. Now you have all of your you know variable local and global here under the debug window and uh, you can kind of click here and you know check more details and everything 
and here you know you can kind of step over step in fourth step in or step out just pretty much any other program that you see um, you know that has a debugger and let's step out and that's pretty much how you you would use a debugger hopefully this video was helpful and uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your day